Hello, today we'll cover some of the functionality of the Codium AI chat window. We'll talk about context, as we can run commands against an entire file, a method or function within that file, or the currently selected lines. We're going to start out by asking a question about our code. Then we'll use the explain command to explain what a specific method does and how we can use this. Then we'll use the improve command to improve that method and uh, to take a look at what kind of suggestions we get and then refactor that into our code. Then we'll use the docstring command to write a docstring in a specific style and also refactor that into our code. And finally, we'll use the enhance command to rename a variable within our code and also update the docstrings. So first, let's open up the chat panel. We can do this by either clicking on the Codium icon on the left, or we can open up the panel, type Codium, focus on chat view. And in my case, I've also set up a hotkey, so I can open it by pressing Control alt c And I'll use the ask command to see how many uh, functions or methods I have defined in this class. And as we can see, it comes back with an answer and tells us a little bit about each of those uh, methods as well. For the next example, I'll ask Codium AI to explain what our code does, but I'll change the context to the just the withdraw function. And as we can see, it will generate an explanation about what this function does, but also give some examples of how it can be used. And now we will start to run the improve command and we'll ask it to improve the security. We'll keep the context on the withdraw method. And as we can see, it generates three examples and we can click generate more if we want more examples with the current security prompt. But for now, we will take a look at the diffs to see what suggestions are there. We can see the changes and we select these two to be included in the refactored code. And by clicking start refactoring, Codium AI will generate a new code based on the suggestions and show it to us for a final review. We will view the diff, accept the changes. And as we can see here, the changes are reflected in our code. As much as we like to think that our code documents itself, inline documentation can be beneficial for a quick understanding of what your code does. For this purpose, we introduce the docstrings command. We will run it with a suggestion to use restructured text as a format for our docstrings, and we will set the context back to the bank account class. Once again, we get a chance to review the changes before merging them into our code. And now that it's merged, we can also see that those changes are included in our code. As a final example, we'll use the enhance command and we will ask it to rename some of our variables to include the word code at the end. By clicking show diff, we can see the difference and we can also see that it not only updated the variable, but also the doc strings we generated just before.